Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo Gomez. I am a principal analytic specialist here at AWS, and this is Amazon DataSun and AWS Glue better together. Perfect, so this is the data governance with AWS Vision. It has three main pillars, curate, protect, and understand. We are going to base today's sessions on the understand pillar, specifically the data catalog component. So depending on the type of users that you are, you may have different data catalog needs. For example, technical users want to see things like file format, data types, data location, and so on. And business users want to see things like business glossary terms, column descriptions, business justification, data classification, and so on. So even though it's the same data, different type of users wants to see different information. So now let's start with technical users. For that, AWS offers the AWS Glue Data Catalog. The AWS Glue Data Catalog is a metadata store for data lakes. It has great durability, availability, and scalability. And it's serverless, cost-effective, and it is integrated with many AWS analytics services and also three-party vendor solution. Let's see um, the information that technical users can get from the AWS data catalog. If you see in the top part, we have general information. For example, the location, the, in this case, the S3 location that stores the data, um, the technical name of the table, um, the input format, um, the database, the Glue database in which the table is located, uh, the classification of the data could be parquet, CSV, and so on. Also, we have a schema information. We have column name, data type, description, and so on. And also, we have partition information, index information, and so on. If you see in the top part, you can also define or identify the data quality rules that you want to apply on top of this data, also the asset version. And if you need to edit an schema, the schema of this table, you can also do it because the AWS Glue Catalog gives you that option. So as you see, everything that a technical user needs to understand or to identify the right data asset. Now, Let's talk about business users. As we mentioned before, they want to identify the right assets to consume based on business information. For that, AWS offers Amazon DataSun. Amazon DataSun is a data management service that makes it faster and easier for customers to catalog, discover, share, and govern their corporate data. It offers a business data catalog that allows users to search and identify data asset using business information. Let me show you the information that you can get, that business users can get from Amazon DataSun. For example, here you have a screenshot of the data catalog offered by DataSun. And you can see here that we offer business label and description of the asset. You can also add a glossary terms to the asset itself. Also, you can do it column or schema level if you want to. You can also find technical metadata. This one is coming from the Glue Catalog. And you can also add metadata forms. Okay, Metadata forms are going to allow you to add custom information to your data asset. Remember also that Amazon DataSun offers a functionality that generates business information based on your metadata automatically. Perfect. Again, as you can see here, all the information that a business user needs to understand if this is the right data asset or not. So how everything works together. If we go from left to right on the left side of the screen, you can see all the sources that we have available. For example, here we have Amazon S3, we have Redshift, RDS, and so on. Then, in order to harvest the metadata from these sources, we can run a AWS Glue Data Crawler that is going to harvest metadata from the sources. And not only that, it's going to publish that metadata instead of our AWS Glue Data Catalog. There, you can enrich that information with technical metadata, and also you can share 
those data assets with your technical users. Once everything is ready from that side, you can harvest the technical metadata using Amazon Datason. And inside of Datason, you can enrich that information using business information. Once you have all those data assets documented, you can publish it as part of your enterprise data catalog inside of Datason. And then your business users can go search for the right data asset. And once they identify it, they can request access to it and then consume it using different tools like Athena or Redshift, for example. So as you can see, both technical users and business users covered by these two solutions. Perfect. So we learned a little more about the technical data catalog that AWS Glue offers and also the business data catalog that Amazon Datason offers. Now let's see them in action. For that, we have a demo for today's presentation. This is the structure of the demo. So we are going to start by adding some parquet files on an S3 bucket, specifically a sales related data set for a retail company. Then we are going to run a AWS Glue crawlers to infer the schema and create the Glue tables. Then when we create the Glue tables, we are going to show you the technical metadata that you have available. And also we are going to add some information there. After that, we are going to harvest that metadata using Amazon Datason, and we are going to add a business related information on top of that data asset. So this is the end to end workflow. So let's go to the AWS console and start the demo. Okay. This is the S3 console. So here we have the bucket that we create for this demo, Glue Datason integration. So here you can see a retail folder and inside of it, we have a sales folder. Also, we have our data sets distributed by month. And let me show you one of the data sets. So in this case, I have a parquet files with sales information. If you want to see another one, it's the same. So in this case, it's parquet, but it could be CSV, Avro and so on. So now, that we have our data sets inside of Amazon S3, we are going to go to the Glue console and we are going to run a Glue crawler in order to create the tables. Perfect, we put here Glue. And we go and look for the crawlers. And as you can see here, I already created a, a crawler for this demo. So let's go inside and I'm going to run the crawler. Click here. We have now our crawler uh, running. It's going to take around 40, 50 seconds. So let's wait. Perfect. The crawler finish. Now let's see the tables that were created or the table in this case that were created by the glue crawler. So here you can see that we have a new table. The name of the table is sales and it's part of the retail database. So now let's see the details about the table. Perfect. So here we have a technical overview. So we have two options, quick overview of the technical details or advanced properties. Okay. I'm going to show you both. So here you can see the name of the table sales, the S3 location. If you remember it, the database, the classification in this case, Parquet, remember it could be CSV, Avro, JSON, and so on more technical information about the input format, output format, and so on. If you want to go and see more detailed information, you can click here to the advanced properties and you can see, for example, the number of objects, the number of records that are part of this table and so on. Also something that I want to show you very quickly is that you have the option to identify and define data quality rules. Perfect. So if we go to the lower part of the screen, you can see here the information with the schema. So here you have information like column name, data type, and so on, and also partition keys and so on. Also, you have the option to edit the schema. For example, imagine that you want to modify information. So if I go here to edit the schema and for example, here for discount applied, I can sell it here click edit 
and I can change the description, okay? Or I can add a description more than change. So I'm going to put here, this column was calculated using the marketing formula, just to give an example. And we can save the information. So if you see here, now you can add technical information or a comment inside of every single column. Also, you have the option to see the partitions. These were inferred based on how we distribute the, the data sets on, on S3. And also you have the option to see the indexes that were created as part of the creation process of the table. Another thing that you can see is that you can see the version of the table. If you remember, because I added a description to one of the columns, it created a new version. And of course you have options to compare versions, see the data that is inside of the table and so on. So if you are a technical user, here you are going to find all the technical information that you need in order to work with this table. Let me go back and show you that also that you have a search functionalities here. You can search a specific table by database, table format, location, classification, the last day that it was updated and so on. So if you have thousands of tables, this search function is going to help you a lot. Perfect. Now that the technical part is covered, let's go and see the business part. For that, let's go to the Amazon DataZone data portal. So here you have the homepage for Amazon DataZone. You have a bunch of options here. You can search for a specific data asset. You can create projects. You can search for a business glossary term and so on. In this case, for our demo, the first thing that we have to do is go to the project that we're going to use. In this case is retail sales producer. I previously created this project for this demo. And we are going to focus on data. Let's go to the data section. As you can see here, let me show you very quickly. We don't have any data published yet. So for that, we need to go to data sources and create a data source job. So in this case, I already create one for this demo. But in a nutshell, these data sources are jobs that are going to harvest the metadata from the different sources. In this case, it's going to be the Glue catalog. As I already mentioned, I created one beforehand for this demo. So let me run it. You can see that it's requested. It's going to take a few seconds to complete. So it's done. Okay, it added a new table. So let's go back to data. Let's go back to inventory. If you remember, this was empty. Now we have a new table. The name of the table is sales. So it's exactly the same table that we had in our glue catalog. So in this case, let's go inside the asset. And here you have the option to document your data asset. As I mentioned before, here you are going to add business information to your asset. So something that I want to call out is this green notification. Okay, it said uh, automated metadata generation. So yes, Amazon Data Sun generate business information based on the metadata of your data asset. It generates information at the table or asset name level, the summary level, and also at the schema level. Okay, let me show you how this works. So here, no surprise here, the name is sales, but we have a recommendation here. And then we have the summary. So Amazon Data Sun is going to read our metadata and based on that is going to generate a business related description on top of our data asset. So let's click here, generate. This is going to take 30 seconds to generate the description. Perfect. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of information that was generated by Amazon Data Sun. I'm going to click here, edit to walk you to the information that was added. So look, you have a complete description of the data asset, including a description of some of the columns, the use case that this table may cover and so on. So here you have the chance to edit it if you want to. In this case, for this demo, we are not going to do it. So I'm going to click save. Another thing that I want to show you is let's go first to the schema tab. So here you can see that Amazon Data Sun, based on the technical name of the column, 
it offer an alternative name related to the business. So in this case, transaction ID altogether become transaction ID separated with an uppercase and so on. The same with quantity, the same with total amount and so on. And also it generates description for each column. Again, this is pretty cool because Amazon does everything for you. Of course, that you can edit the description if you want to. In this case, I like the names that were generated by Datasun, also the description. So I'm going to click here, Asset All. Perfect. So if you see the green icon, disappear. So I'm going to accept also the name that was generated by Datasun, the asset name. I'm going to click here, Accept All. Perfect. Nice. Now I'm going to show you something very quickly. Here at the column level, you can add business glossary terms. So in that way, you can standardize the information that is related to a column. Let's go to product ID. I'm going to click here, edit. And I'm going to add a glossary term. So in this case, I'm going to select general terms and I'm going to select product. And I'm going to save it. Perfect. Now I'm going to select discount. I'm going to select between my business glossaries, general terms. I'm going to select here discount and save it. So if you see, you can customize the description and also you can add business glossary terms to each column. Perfect. Now let's go back to the business metadata part and here you have the option to keep documenting your data asset. Of course, as you remember, DataSun generated this summary for us. If you want to add more information, you have the option to add a readme section. So I'm going to add some information here just for this demo. Perfect. As you can see here, we have a readme section now. Also, you can add business glossary terms at the asset level. We already add some at the column level. Now we can do it at the asset level. So for this, I'm going to select the product category uh, business glossary, and I'm going to add electronics, appliance, and smart devices. Perfect. As you can see, we have three now. You can add more, but just for this example, I add three. So here you have the technical information that comes from the glue catalog. Yes, the catalog that we saw in the first part of this demo, Amazon Datasun also harvests metadata from there. So for example, you have the S3 location in which the files that were used to create this table are located and so on. And also you have the option to add your own metadata forms. I previously created a metadata form for this example. Let me show you how to do it. So you can click here, add metadata form. You can set it here on your available metadata forms. In this case, I have just one. So I'm going to select ownership and I'm going to click add. So now I have to fill out this information. The technical owner is Sam Smith. We can select here the technical owner role. In this case is the engineer. Also, we are going to select the classification. In this case, it's going to be public. The name of the approver of the publication of this asset. Okay, I'm going to put here Maya Gomez. The role of the approver, in this case, is going to be the data steward. And here we are going to add the date in which this asset got approved for publication. So if you see, as I mentioned before, you can add your custom metadata forms here and add the information that you feel that is relevant for this data asset. So again, we have summaries, we have readme, we have glossary terms assigned to the asset, technical metadata, and also the custom metadata form that we associate to our asset. Let me save the metadata form before we publish. Now, our data asset is very well documented. So the only thing that I have to do now is to publish the asset. 
Of course, I'm going to publish this only if I want to share it with the rest of my company as part of my data catalog. In this case, there is the action that we want to take. In this case, I click publish, a confirmation message. I'm going to click here, publish asset. And it's going to take a couple of seconds to publish the asset as part of our data catalog. So let's wait. We should receive a confirmation message. Perfect, we have it here. So now if we go to our search engine and we look for sales, we are going to see our data asset here. Let me see. We have it. You can see the business glossary terms that we associate to the data asset. Let's go inside. And this is how it looks like with all the information that we added in order to publish. Perfect. So that's all for today. Thank you for joining.